Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Now in the last episode, I did take you through some of the float fishing at different times and places. And at that time, the only only species that had eluded me was the common bleak, which is actually the smallest of the species. And I had followed uh, Dulakova's advice. He said that he had caught them at night. Now, I tried to catch them. He said he was catching them with uh, dough balls at half a meter. Or, but tried all those things and was not having any luck. Now, I did a little research about them. And I thought, well, maybe they've changed. Because they have made a, quite a few updates. Made things working a little bit more realistically speaking. And apparently these guys are easier to catch in... The middle of the day actually time doesn't make as much difference but for the most part from other games it's the middle of the day and I thought well maybe I need to come in at that time and let's try overcast because that seems to be something else that's consistent with them so I came over to the same place he had suggested which is over at position 4 and let me show you, you can see where my arrow is and I basically walked into this location. Now I can go ahead and start off here at 4 and I'll take you where I was having any luck. This is position 4 right here. And what I did is I came directly out here. There's some rock facings over there to the left. And that's where I'm fishing close to because, like I said, they are a small species. Apparently they're quite sought out by Europeans. I guess they taste really good. That's my guess. But there's that one big rock right there and that's where we're trying to get to. Make sure I am at the right spot. I think I need to come out a little bit more. Alright. I think we've got it here. Now, I again I've got it set at a half a meter. But instead of dough balls, I am using bread. That's the only thing I changed. I changed bread. I kept the hook at 16 knot, which is or not 16 knot, 16, which is the smallest hook that's in the game that I know of. Just using a river waggler, uh, three gram weight, and everything else. I haven't changed much from what you saw in the previous video, and. I just tossed it out. Now, hopefully I can get an underwater view here. It's not looking like I'm going to do it. There we go. Okay. Remember to close the bale. Now, the roach like this too, so you might get some of them attaching onto there, but I'm hoping I can get another bleak. Now, I did get a couple of them. Now they're not big time money, but like I said, I am determined to get every species in every waterway that I come to. And there's going to be a lot of missions probably that are going to be related to the bleak, so I want to be sure I catch one. <coughs> okay, we look like we have something spawning in over here. So I'm going to keep my eye on that. And, okay, we got us a roach. Like I said, you're going to get those. Let me back up a little bit here. I'm going to try casting a little closer to the shore if I can. Shoot, looks like I'm going to have to throw that out again. Let 
There we go. And we close the bale, and we're going to see if we can't get us another bleak here. Now, hopefully, they're not going to be shy since I'm recording. That seems to happen <laughs> quite often. Um, especially when I'm trying to get one specific species type. Now, the bread, I have not had any luck with anything as far as that type of bait goes until now. And there's some other baits here I have not tried, one of which is flies. I'd like to see if that might attract them as well. But these are not a small fish. I mean, not a small fish. They're not big. They're not big at all. I think they get maybe six inches in length. About the size of a sardine. Alright, let's see here. Come on. Not getting any spawning. That might be one right there, honestly. Sure looks like one. Let me see here. I'm hoping. Come on, dude. And he just swam off. Not seeing any new spawns just yet. Okay, we're getting. Okay, something is definitely after this, but I think it's a roach. Yeah, that's gonna be. Again, like I said, the roach. We're gonna go for the same bait, same presentation, everything. Let me try throwing that out a little farther then. I'm getting a little bit of lag here. I'm not sure why that is. Okay, what the heck was that about? Let's see. Apparently I completed something. Oh, 15 minutes on a fishing ground. Yeah, the bleak are pretty elusive here, though. Even when I caught them, it was after catching quite a few roach in the meantime. I'd like to get one off of the spread, and if possible, try the flies, too, and see if those might attract them and the casters. But the roach and the bleak are the smallest species in this particular waterway. But they're very much sought out. I've got something, I don't know if he's interested in it or not. It looks like a chub. No. He just kind of swam by it. That fish is probably coming for it. Okay, that is a bleak. All right, we got one. That, my friends, is a bleak. Yeah, in one of my previous videos, I called it a smelt, which, for some reason, I always get them mixed up. <laughs> but they're both small fish, both very much sought out for commercial fishing in Europe. But this is a common bleak. Comes in at only a couple of dollars, but like I said, they're kind of elusive in this game. But I've managed to catch this like the third or fourth one now, so I think I've kind of mastered finding them and catching them. But they are definitely little fellas. Let me show you just how tiny. I mean, they are literally bait. But in Europe, I think they catch a number of these guys and cook them in kind of a similar way as they do sardines. Oh, 
that is the common bleak here, guys. Now, before we go any further, I think I am going to try some of these other baits just to see if the bleak go for them as well. And one of these is the fly. I haven't tried these at all. Kind of curious to see if this what this is going to attract. It may attract the bleak. It may attract the roach. It might attract something else. Let's just see here. What is going on with this thing? Why can I not? Okay, let's try throwing it out there. May have to just let it float down. Okay, see it's coming out because the bale's not closed. And then I'll close the bale, and that'll stop it. Let's just see if there's anything that's going to get attracted to it. Really have no idea. I have not fished with this in this particular waterway, nor have I fished the casters. Kind of curious what they're if they're going to attract anything, and if they do, what? Okay, something is spawning right there. And it's acting all nuts, which means it's going to go for this particular bait. Oh, my goodness. Rainbow Trout goes for them, alright. That's good to know. And I think I would have gotten a bleak. It's a little bitty Rainbow Trout, though. I think we were going to get something else there for a minute, and it... But the rainbow trout got to it first. It looked a lot like a bleak. There's not a whole lot that the rainbow trout don't seem to go for. So flies apparently is yet another one of the insects that they go for. Okay, we're getting some spawns here, guys. Let's see what we got here. What is coming in here? And he's making a beeline for it. Boom! I think we got us a chub. I think we got us a chub. Yes, we do. Awesome. So chub, go for the flies. No, it's an eyed. I thought it was a chub. I'm sorry. My mistake. Not a bad one either. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. Well, I tell you what, let's try these casters next. I say I want to try as many of these oddball lures. We got cheese here, and I think Barbel was supposed to be. Hey man, we don't want to delete that. Barbel was supposed to go for those. Now here in this particular waterway, I really don't have a clue if anything would go for cheese. Yeah, it's really casting kind of strange right now. Let me let it take it out a little bit. And then we'll stop it. We'll see what goes for that. My guess is it's going to be Roach. If it if we were in the uh, previous one, but let Niska or whatever, I would say the common bream would be going for this. But here... I really just don't know. So we've got a couple of hoochin down there. They don't seem to be all that interested in it. Okay, roach. Yep, that's what I thought. That is not really a surprise. Take 
take it out a little bit. We'll see if the roach go for that again. I really wish I could see if the bleak go for it as well. I think they do normally. There's just a lot more roach in this particular waterway than there are bleak. Now, I'm not sure, but he seems like he's on a mission. That particular fish there, it is a roach. But he's pretty good size for a roach. Let's see if... See just how big he is. Oh yeah, yeah, he's definitely on the upper end for the roach. He's two star, almost two pounds. That's not a no that's a pretty nice one, honestly. Now the only other thing I have not tried here. Well, actually, I haven't tried the shrimp. It says perch, chub, and carp go for that. The cherry's supposed to be chub. Now, as far as the cheese goes, I don't think there's anything here that's going to go for it, so I'm going to try it anyway. Just to see what is going on over there. <laughs> Sounds like all kinds of activity there. We're going to toss this down here and just see if anything goes for the cheese. And I think that will have covered just about every type of bait that I've been able to acquire up to this point. Alright guys, we've been trying the cheese here. I don't think the cheese is going to work in this particular waterway. Which is actually kind of good to know. I kind of like to know what I can and cannot use for each location. And that is definitely a not a good one to use. So let's see. I tell you, I might actually go to the shop and see. Wait a minute. Where is the shop exactly here? Well, I can't get to the shop from there, I don't think. Yeah, I can. Here we go. Let's see if there's any new baits that are available to us here. We got the caddis fly. I think I don't think I've tried that. It's pretty much carp. I don't think that's gonna work here. We already found out about the fly. We know the dragonfly and the grasshoppers are good. Leeches. It says perch, roach, and even silver bream. Can attract chub, asp, catfish, barbel, zander, burbot, and sometimes perch. Then there's snails. It's like tench, carpfish, eel, or chub will also be attracted. And you can actually use bleak as bait, <laughs> obviously. And that's for perch, zander, asp, and chub. And those aren't available yet. So. Tell you, I think I don't think there's a reason to waste that kind of money here for these guys. I am probably going to try just what I have here. I am going to try these cherries. I would, and I made certain it was overcast because overcast should be good for chub. And that's what I'm really kind of going after with these. But I don't know why I can't get this thing to cast very well. Acting up a little bit there. These are supposed to be seriously popular for the chub. Now... When I tried them in the past, I tried them over at like Nisco, and they didn't seem to be interested in it at all. So, if it's still going to be the same case here, they really need to do some work on that one. I 
Alright guys, I have been here for quite a while. Nothing has even shown even the most remote interest in the in the cherries. Now chubs do sometimes go for larger hooks. I don't know if that could be part of the problem. I don't think so though, because I was running into the same situation in one of the other waterways. I'm not so sure they are going for it. Which is kind of problematic since it says all over the place that they do. So let me go ahead and pull this in. And before we leave, I am going to try the dough just to see if these bleak go for the dough as well. Let's see, now it's casting correctly. I don't know what was going on earlier. might have been downloaded something. They've been making a lot of updates to this game. They've made a lot of good fixes. Just about every bug that I had run into previously have been has been repaired, which is great. So they are the developers are on top of this, guys. Oh, okay. Still getting the roach off of this. So I think the thing is, is that the roach go for it so much, the bleak don't have a chance. Too much competition, you know. Well, let's just see here. Give it another try. I'm hope hopefully it's a little closer to shore. But the common roach are definitely on top of the the dough balls, without a doubt. They will go for the bread, but not as readily as the dough balls. Sometimes I wish there was an even smaller hook than the 16. Because I think that might give us an edge. Now there's something spawning in right over there. So, so far it's been pretty much the bread that I've caught them off. I've not been able to catch them with anything else. I just wanted to be able to try to see if there's something else that I can get them with. And I don't think it's going to happen here because he is going to grab that. Without a doubt. Yep. But we've definitely picked up quite a few of the common roach here, guys. Now let me see. I'm going to check this. I might head on down to number one here. I'm going to go ahead and put some bread on here. I don't know. I've only fished that one spot for them. Alright, I am going to go ahead and walk my way out here. I just have a... I have a feeling they're going to be over here. I mean... I know it's kind of a strange way of saying, well, there's probably <laughs> this species here, but it's like... It just looks like a good place to find them. And I'm going to try casting actually closer to that. Why is it not working? What's going on now? Okay, there it goes. I think the water's flowing the wrong way, though. That's the only thing. Yep. Might have to go down to the other end and fish the other direction. There's a... I don't know if that's an eye or a chub. Yep. We're going to have to cast the other way. We're going to have to walk all the way down here. That's fine, I guess. I'm 
seeing quite a few species over here. Yeah, this is where the waterfall is located. Just have a feeling we might have a little more luck getting these bleak over here. Not sure how far into this we can go. Guess we'll find out. That's as far as we can go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and park myself over here. And we're going to see if we can get some bleak. We pretty much know they definitely go for this. And I'm already seeing some spawning going on, so might be a good sign. Roach and something else was spawning in, but didn't have time to get there. That's a big roach, too. Let's let that take it out a little bit. There we go. This is real close. Okay, we got some spawning going on. Come on. Let's get us a bleak here, guys. Come on. Well. Okay, there's a roach over there. If he sees that, he's probably going to go ahead and get it. Looking pretty interested. Yep, he's gonna go for it. Damn it. <laughs> uh, these guys are something, I tell you. Three bucks. He's one of the biggest ones I've gotten. Since I am seeing what looks a lot like Chub to me, I am gonna throw another one of those cherries on there. I can find the darn things. Okay, hold on. I might up my hook size a little bit. Let's try an eight. And if he doesn't, sh that chub does not show any interest. That kind of tells you right there. But they're not going to go for it. Alright guys, definitely have figured that out. Nothing in these waters seem to be interested for the cherries. Not even a glance. These fish swam right by it. So, we're going to have to check these out in a later waterway and see if they'll work there. I think the carp go for them. Says chubs so, though, but none of the chubs were interested in them here. Alright guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this last look at this particular waterway. We are going to move forward here and go on to the next waterway, which is going to be... Let me go ahead and exit this location. Keel Canal. Now, I'm not sure exactly where Keel Canal is supposed to be. Let's see, we'll find out here. The Keel Canal connects the Baltic Sea through the Bay of Kiel to the North Sea through the Elbe Estuary. It is considered the busiest artificial waterway in the world. And here we've got European perch, ass, wells, catfish, zander, Atlantic salmon, European sea sturgeon, European eel, sea trout, Atlantic cod, European flounder, garfish, and European bass. So this is where it's going to start getting really interesting and the fish are going to start getting really big. So 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 in Keel Canal. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.